Howard Stern recently hosted President Joe Biden on his show. Wow, how times have changed. Here's Howard Stern getting out of Joe Biden a commitment to debate Donald Trump. What fantasy I had. If you, sure. I don't know if you're going to debate your, uh, your opponent. I am somewhere. I don't know when. I, I'm starts out. Can I tell you a fantasy I just had? I remember back <laughs> when Howard Stern's fantasies were interesting. Remember, yes, Howard Stern yes. made a career out of like telling us all about his fantasies. You know, they used to involve things that many a man have fantasized about. That's what made him relatable. That's what brought him to superstardom. Now his fantasies are of Joe Biden owning Donald Trump in a debate. Well, <laughs> That's what he is, fantasizes is, about uh... nowadays. Man, how times have changed. How how old we've gotten. We've gotten so old. Nowadays, Howard Stern fantasizes about Joe Biden checkmating Donald Trump in a presidential debate. Wow. Well, th- That's this depressing. Is the, yeah, you remember he'd, he'd have uh, cream corn wrestling in the studio. He'd, ha- he'd have the women in bikinis. He, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, this is the second time I'm pulling out this quote this week. The other time was on Jimmy's show. Huey Long said, uh, politicians, ugly buildings, and whores all get respectable if they last long enough. I, I referenced Al Sharpton being on MSNBC, and uh, that very much applies to Howard Stern, the king of all media, right? Yes. He was the edgiest of the edgy, edgelord shock jocks of all time. Here he is literally with the president uh, giving him a rim job. Amazing. Amazing. Yep. Indeed. Here it is. Would, this is how I would handle it. Tell me if I'm nuts. Well, I am nuts, but tell me if this is accurate. Wow. I would stand there on stage with Trump and I would repeat over and over again, excuse me, please find me 11,000 votes so that uh, I can win the election. I would just repeat that over and over again. And then I'd say to yep. the audience, yep, that would what work. are we debating? That would work. A man picked up the phone work, and wanted everyone to. Everyone has the same fixations that you fucking MSNBC, CNN adult libs have. Everyone to cares mention, about the shit that you care about. <laughs> An MSNBC ad lib worth a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a, yeah. I, I can't imagine how that wouldn't be the whole election right there. Sure. Let me ask you something, Howard Stern. If it were as simple as that, why is Trump even close to Joe Biden in the polls to begin with, never mind beating him? Right? Like if what you're saying were true, Trump wouldn't be winning. I can't imagine how that wouldn't be checkmate. An issue that no one gives a fuck about, that has nothing to do with anyone's lives. Just say that and that's checkmate. This is the problem that these people have. Because if you if you listen to their kind of roundtable conversations about Trump's popularity, uh, they're under the impression, they oscillate between a few different theories. But one of them is people just don't know. They just don't know. If they really knew. If they were really informed about Donald Trump and his crimes, there's no way they would vote for him. Now, the other is that there's this creeping fascism among the American people, but they never blame the system for that. They blame uh, demagogues and uh, social media. The people are being deceived. They haven't been given any reason to give up on the system. But the core premise that unites them all is uh, democracy is under threat. The, the idea that democracy does not exist and what you're going through is really a battle between people who want to maintain the premise and people who want to dispense with it. That is a place they will never get to because the system has worked for them. As far as they're concerned, democracy works. It's working. Right. And that's why the gravest offense one can commit as a candidate, as a president, is to question that system or to right. undermine it. Right? right. That's why they're so obsessed with defending the norms and the institutions. Right. Bring back Artie Lang. That's all I got to do. <laughs> need Artie Lang back. From the creeps. That's the Howard Stern Show 2024, everybody. Yeah. Does anyone in the chat know? I was asking Keaton, is fucking poor Robin Quiver still stuck in that gig? She is. She's still doing that? She works Oh, she's definitely still there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's still there. Wow. Wow. Indeed. Please clap.